stick around because some of the commenters on my videos are way more epic than I am. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Josiah Douglas. If this is your first time joining me, I do a Bible study just like this right here five days a week. If that's the kind of thing that you're into, maybe you can go ahead and join me here five days a week. Last week I talked about Balaam. You're talking donkey this, talking donkey that. And how I didn't understand how later on in the Bible he gets such a bad rap and basically is called wicked and evil, even though all he did was do what God told him to do. The entire story of Balaam is, it's not a good story. God telling him to do stuff and he did it exactly how God told him to do it. And I thought that just seemed unfair to Balaam. Yeah. Well, one of the commenters, Epic Kate Bajar, 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 I don't know how to pronounce her name. She did way more research than I ever did, probably maybe 30 seconds worth of Googling. And she found out the reason why he's called wicked later on in the Bible. Here, let me show you. Here in Numbers 31, 16, it says, Behold, these on Balaam's advice caused the people of Israel to act treacherously against the Lord in the incident of Peor. And so the plague came among the congregation of the Lord. Basically what happened was after the whole thing with Balaam and the talking donkey. A donkey? You had to send a talking donkey to this guy? And the whole story where Balaam was doing exactly what God told him to do, but later on he's being called wicked anyways. This is it. This is the reason why he's being called wicked. Basically after that whole story, Balaam goes and he tells the people of Peor, if you go and you do this and you convince the Israelites to serve your gods instead of their God, then God is going to send a plague on them. So the whole main story of Balaam is Balaam doing what God told him to do. But the other story that you don't really hear that much and I'd never really heard before was Balaam telling the bad guys how to get the Israelites. And that's why later on in the Bible, they call Balaam wicked. And that's why even just in a couple chapters, Balaam dies. It's because, yes, the story that I knew him for, he was being a good guy, but the rest of the time, apparently, he was actually being pretty bad. So I guess that answers that question, right? So hopefully that clears up some questions for you. It definitely cleared up a lot of questions for me, and that's all thank you to a commenter, Epic Kate Bajargid Bajarg. We've already established that I can't say her last name. Epic Kate, thank you so much. Definitely go check out Epic Kate's channel here on YouTube. If you like my video, go ahead and hit the like button, leave a comment below. If you've made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed yet, like I said, I do Bible study just like this five days a week. Go ahead and hit subscribe and we can do this and make it part of your everyday routine. Thanks guys, I'll see you tomorrow.